Teams are more inspired by positional leaders that grow their personal power. And who gets to say if a leader wields personal power? Followers. Personal power persuades and influences and inspires others to action, regardless of title. So here are four tips for helping leaders do just that. First, recognize your stress levels by watching your bodily symptoms. Unhealthy stress can make you react rather than respond as a leader, and that can affect you adversely and impact your demeanor. So work on carrying a minimum of unhealthy stress to protect the vitality that you need to support others. Second, acknowledge team milestones. People, staff, employees are naturally drawn to celebration. Phone calls, voicemails, written notes or emails of thanks and encouragement can go a long way. And budget for some staff appreciation events too for even more recognition of a job well done. Thirdly, identify ways to measure your leadership. Personally assess your leadership competencies all on your own and then participate in leadership assessment tools that include followership feedback. And fourth, risk honest conversations with followers to better understand yourself. Learn right language for delivering and receiving feedback. Surround yourself with people who will tell you the truth and make sure that they know that it's okay to do so. Airlines say if the oxygen masks drop, outfit yourself first, then help the others. In leadership, the same applies. Develop your leadership self first to be maximally useful to others next. I'm Nina Spencer, helping you get more passion out of your profession and life.